All right, Uncle Sam FM here. We are on episode four of the American Football Series. I have gotten through uh, the end of the season. I actually already played the uh, semifinal of the Western Conference. And I um, I recorded both games, both legs, uh, away and then home. And uh, I'll do a com on those in a moment. But I figured we'd look through um, kind of how things ended up in the in the league um yes obviously i am in the <clears throat> in the final western conference final uh looking at the table um won the western conference won the supporter shield uh minnesota finished second you had seattle and uh sporting kansas city third fourth and san jose portland fifth sixth um in the East, Toronto and Atlanta, not a big surprise. Uh, Columbus is a little surprising that they managed to slide up to third. And then you've got the two New York teams, fifth and sixth. Um, New York City is a little surprised that they couldn't finish higher than that. But that's that's the way the cookie crumbled. Um, <clears throat> so, quick look at the stats. Overview, obviously, I... The way we play, we're a you know very possession team. That's still not as high as I'd like it to be at fifty eight point eight. Little ways to go there. Um, did have the fewest conceded, uh, had the most shutouts, which is clean sheets in um, probably in most <clears throat> European vernacular. Um, highest passage percentage of passes completed at eighty five, um, and so you know team the team stats look pretty good. Player stats, we um, we don't really do well in this. <laughs> um, for one, I'm kind of balanced, um, and I rotate a lot, so it really makes it difficult for my guys to move high up the list. But I'm uh, I am pretty happy with where you know statistically we we ended up. Uh, let's see if there's a I don't have a stats yeah. Just a brief look. Um, goals, obviously, my front three. I actually uh, Kyoto. Um, I started starting Pena um, because the guy just scores, right? He's got eighteen goals. Uh, he scores um, 0.75 goals per ninety. That's I think that's my highest rating, and so it was really hard to justify not starting him over Kyoto because I've got this kind of as a Dynamo fan. Uh, I guess I have kind of a fondness for Kyoto. <clears throat> I do like watching him play. Um, so, you know, the, uh, between those three, um, Elise, Minotas, Pena, they split the goals. They, you, and so, you know, we... So that looks good. Passing percentage. Um, Alton Top came in. He, 93%. That's no big surprise. He's, you know, the best player I have with the ball at his feet. Um... And his role also doesn't really... I don't really test him that much. But I don't want him... I don't want him to be um, giving the ball away from that defensive midfielder spot. I need him to, you know, to link the ball to the midfield. And he does a great job of that. Um, tackling, you know, I, we, we don't... I'm always the team with the lowest, fewest tackles because I, we don't... You know, when you, when you have the ball most of the game, you don't have to worry about making tackles. Um, the mistakes, not crazy about seeing how high, like the most alarming statistic there would be Cabezas giving it away 55 times or making 55 mistakes. That's a lot for what he does. So that's something I need to look at for next season. Martinez obviously with 69, that clearly is, is by far the most of the team, <clears throat> but I have him trying more risky passes. That probably is not a great idea um, because he doesn't really have the attributes for that yet. But um, I want that that role. That's my, kind of the number 10 role. I want him making plays. And that's going to mean that he's going to make some mistakes. So, um, But it is something to look at for next season. <clears throat> so that's kind of where we are statistically. I um, don't think there's really much. We can, we can look at who got promoted um, from the NASL. It takes a second. Uh, so it was Cincinnati and Miami in the East. 
and in the west, Nashville and Sacramento, which <laughs> it's kind of funny in a way because um, obviously Miami, and obviously not that Miami, but Miami is a team coming into MLS, Cincinnati's coming into MLS, MLS, Nashville's coming into MLS, and re this is real life. Um, and Sacramento was probably the first team out. Uh, the Sacramento Republic. So, but now in my game, they'll be coming up. They'll be joining MLS next season. So, so that'll be fun. Um, and looking down quickly at USL. Uh, yeah, Penn FC and Ottawa are coming up to the NASL, and then Colorado Springs and Tulsa. And, and I wanted to do this so that we could see that. Rio Grande Valley, my affiliate, that's kind of my B team, will be coming, will be being promoted next year. And they're actually in the championship game, the, well, the, yeah, the championship series of USL D3. So, so that's exciting. <clears throat> so with all that, let's go ahead and watch the two legs of the Western Conference semifinal. Uh, obviously, my opponent was Sporting Kansas City. Um, this one, this is the away leg. So we're at Kansas City here, and I'm. It's kind of a four-three-three versus four-three-three. Um, I guess I could talk a little bit about you know adjustments that I make. Um, this was an away. So as I recall, I was on standard. Um, normally I've been playing control, but since it was the away leg, and based on what I saw that Kansas City was going to do, I, you know, changed a few things. And when I do that, I, um, yeah, see, here we go. This is, that was kind of give you a look at my team, after my team. <laughs> you can pause it there to see if you really are interested in what I do, but, <clears throat> um, I do raise, I, I raise the tempo. Well, let me just... My my the my base tactic I have play control, and I lower the tempo, and well here we go let's look real quick at opposition instructions so I think here I saw that I wanted Johnny Russell no no, no Fernandez normally I force the wingers out wide to get them away, but I didn't want Fernandez or Russell one um, being able to cross into Rubio from the outside so. I started forcing him in, right? That's kind of usually what I do. See, Russell's the winger. You see his role there. Um, he was their better crosser. And so I didn't want him sending crosses into Rubio. And so I f showed him onto his inside foot, forcing him in. And that's kind of my... When it comes to opposition instructions, and maybe we can look at that after the in-between legs. But... um. I, I, first of all, I always press their back line and then the holding midfielders. Um, yeah, I decided to, I didn't like how I was not keeping possession, so I decided to retain possession, <clears throat> which I'll do that away. I don't have it set normally, but when I'm on the road, uh, I'll try and just keep the ball away, make them chase me a little bit. Um, so yeah, I, opposition instructions, I press. I always close down their back line and their defensive mid or defensive mids. Uh, and I force the back two rows of defense in. Now this was really frustrating because Elise misses this penalty. As I recall. Yeah. Ugh, that, was, that was irritating. So back two lines, I force them in to try and get them to give the ball away to my center mids. And then the the front line, front two lines, whatever, I try and, this was a goal, yeah, on a set piece. It's a long throw, which in real life, Matt Beasler for SKC is very good at long throws. So I'm behind the eight ball a little bit. I decide to, I think I decide to go control. I'm mad, so you can see I can't really handle that thing. Yeah, I push it up. I lower the tempo. Turn off my Be More Expressive. And then we'll see how that works. Yeah, so um, attacking mids. Well, the, the wide players, so the wingers. 
MR or MR and ML or AMR and AML. I force them out mm -hmm. wide. I, I, the idea is I'm trying to separate them from the rest of, well, for the rest of their team, get them out isolated mm -hmm. so that they're either launching hopeful crosses or they're playing long passes that I'm going to intercept. But if they've got a winger crossing into a very good, um, and that's an advanced winger. If they get an advanced winger crossing into a very good header, then I I force them in so that they can't do that. I don't want to, because the reality is in FM, um, crossing in feels like it's overpowered. Whether or not it really is, it feels like it is. It seems like I give <clears throat> the goals I give away are either. I think we get one here. Yeah, Leonardo with the goal on a corner kick. So it was good to answer a set piece goal for set piece goal. That was nice. Um, yeah, so it feels like all the goals I give away are either set pieces or it just crosses in. And so I, um, so the, I'm trying to use the opposition instructions to stop that from happening. I think, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't remember what I was looking at there. So here we are, one one. So that was good. I, I you know, had an away goal, which MLS in the in the playoffs uses the away goals rule. And I did kind of like my team shape here and our patience. Like we're making them chase us, and we're really not having to do that much running. And Martinez right there, beautiful cross in to Pena, who finishes it. Another goal for Pena. I hope he's as good in real life as he is for me in this game. The Dynamo just signed him last week. I don't even think they've given him a jersey number yet. So, yeah, this is I decided to bring in Kyoto, I think. Or do I? Yeah, for Minotas. And Artur for Kabizas. A little protein shake. By the way, I might have these sleepy eyes because it is like 5 a.m. when I'm recording this. I get up early, but um, it does take me a little while now to get awake. I'm a little too old. And across from Ojoela, and he's been a great addition. Ojoela, he maybe have been better than um, than Bonya Garcia at right back. He's more of a natural right back anyway. <clears throat> but right there, cross for a goal, and so I'm up 2-1. I'm really just trying to play this out. And yeah, I see that they are kind of pushing forward a little bit because they know, right? And and the truth is, they were a little fatigued because they had to play the, the wild card game in MLS the way it works. The two wild card teams, well, four wild card teams, play midweek. And then they have to turn right around to play the semifinal that weekend. And so they had played a midweek game. And so they were a little tired. And you started to see that, right? They, as they, they, the game wore on. They started to fatigue a little bit. And we took advantage of that. <clears throat> yeah, they start really coming at me there with that... Four two three one, but mistake <clears throat> because De La Garza to Kyoto, and now we've got a counter to Alexander to Pena for an easy tap in, and Pena with another goal, three one, and this is kind of where it would end. So um, we don't need to watch the end there. So that was the first leg, and. Um, you can't go into the opposition. I'll show you kind of my basic opposition instructions. So uh, I do it by position and closing down always. Like you see, the back two stratas, I, I close them down. I, I don't want my back line to get pulled out of position, so I don't really close down the next two lines, three lines. <clears throat> um, and as far as showing the foot, guys in the middle, I show under their weaker feet. Um, so like center back, weaker foot. 
But then everybody else in the back two stratas, I'm trying to force them into the middle. And then everybody up here, I'm forcing out wide. But then when I get in game, if I see that um, they've got an, an AML or an AMR, wingers, um, that are crossing into a really good striker, heading striker, then I will um, I'll force them in instead of out. All right, so with that said, let's watch the second leg. <clears throat> now, obviously, you know that I advanced, but um, I will say this one did not go near as well for us. And it partially is because SKC is a little more fit. We didn't have that fatigue advantage going on. But, um, you know, our team has been hurt with, with some injuries. Not to make excuses, but I'm having to start Dylan Remick at left back. And he's really not as, he's not, well, he's not near as good as Lungfist. So, um, so that's a bummer. Bezos to Martinez to Minotas was another good chance. We also we did not we did not finish super well this game because we had a, some pretty good chances. We didn't have like a lot, but we probably should have put at least one or two of these away. Another thing I'll do that you don't see in this game is that I'll close down playmakers. Um, I go through the team statistics, the other uh, the opposition statistics, and I look for the guy with the most assists or maybe the best passing percentage. And I'll close him down all the ways too, because I don't want him I don't want him creating chances. And uh, I mean I'm not gonna pretend like I'm some kind of tactical expert, but um, and I'm sure I've stolen that from somewhere, all those adjustments. Um, so it's not like I made them up myself, but <clears throat> it does mostly work for me. I usually concede the fewest goals. And there's a goal by Minotes. Finish that chance on it's kind of a free kick. <coughs> From Martinez. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I was coughing right into the mic there, I apologize. <coughs> Kinda had a little <coughs> wrong pipe situation. <laughs> So uh, this game, I have had to set Remick. <clears throat> it's really kind of, it's not, well, I wouldn't call it a surprise, but <clears throat> Minotas isn't really going to get much help from Remick. <clears throat> There's another chance we probably could have finished if Elise would have played a cross instead of a shot. But <clears throat> um, So yeah, Minotas isn't going to get a lot of help from Remick on the left because I've got Remick, he's, he's playing a very simple game. <clears throat> he has fewer risky passes and almost no dribbling because I don't he's just not good enough to be doing that stuff <clears throat> he, even with those settings he still usually gives the ball away more than anybody else and then he gets injured so that's both of my left backs out <clears throat> and he's out for like three weeks I think so I I didn't really know what to do here so I just swapped or over to left back I figure he's you know I, clearly that's not <clears throat> he's not a left player but I was able to allow him to put a few more risky passes in and dribble a little more than Remick usually does. And then I put Delgado in on the right. <clears throat> I mean, the truth is I probably should have played a little more defensive. And, and I do this, I do that later. Like I could have brought in Funmayor and moved De La Garza out left. <clears throat> There's another one we almost finished, another chance. We could be up 3 4 nothing right now. <clears throat> another chance that went over the bar so when I mean, you look at that like seven to one and um one clear cut three half chances <clears throat> so i feel like i should have at least one more goal out of that <clears throat> and as you can see we're just totally dominating And then we get into the half. And then we'll skip the halftime festivities and get right into the second half. <clears throat> Still controlling the run of play. And right here is another chance that uh, Mayas, uh, or sorry, Malia saved. 
<clears throat> yeah, so many chances we could have put away here. And uh, I really don't make that many adjustments because Kansas City didn't really change much in what they did. I think I was... Okay, I was running a standard because I, f I knew they'd be coming at me a little bit. <clears throat> Here, I'm just looking at stats, checking performances. <clears throat> I do that in case... And Martinez with another chance. Of course, he's not really a guy you want heading the ball, but uh, I, I look at—I I occasionally look at ratings and just to see if anybody, if I think anybody needs to be subbed. Because about the hour mark is when <clears throat> I either make a sub or I start looking at who I am going to sub. Because <clears throat> I usually make a—I make one sub around the 60-minute mark, one around the 70, 75th, and then with about 10 minutes to play, that's my typical. And then we give a penalty away. So, <clears throat> yeah, Rubio scores it. So now we're level. And Kansas City, you know, they're down two goals. Um, 23 minutes to play. You're kind of giving them this opening, this hope, where if they score two goals, well, then we're going to extra time. <clears throat> so... <clears throat> And in a game, I've been dominating. So then it becomes obvious, too, to me that they're really pushing right now. <clears throat> so I'm thinking about what I need to do. I kind of leave it because I, I try to give myself a little more of a sample size than one highlight. <clears throat> I feel like tactically I am relatively patient. But I probably did. Oh, this is where I bring in. Yeah, I start making some defensive substitutions to sort of um, <clears throat> lock things down. And Orjuela is a little fatigued, and he's playing a position he doesn't like anyway. So I put him in. I take him out and bring in Funmayor and move De La Garza out wide. <clears throat> because Rimmick's out, that's probably how I'm going to have to start my back line in the next game. That means De La Garza is playing as a wing back, and that's really not his game. But I, and I may adjust that. But if I drop him back too far, I'm really, I'm really changing the way the whole team plays. Yeah, this is why I bring in Saran for Martinez, a defensive substitution. Let's just, you know, let's just hold it, right? We've already. As I saw, we already kind of blown our chance to actually win the leg. <clears throat> so let's just hold the aggregate. And it mostly works out, as you can see. Paying you another chance right there. <laughs> kind of hard to be too critical. The guy's had, the guy's won this, he's won this tie for us. I think he scored the three goals, three of our four goals was Pena, maybe two, but he had a great, you know, a great semifinal. <clears throat> yeah, then I see that Kansas City drops back. I don't know if they had accepted their fate, but I will go ahead and go control, lower the tempo, just to, you know, prevent some stupid goal. And this really is us just seeing it out, so I'll um, we'll let that be it. So, um, looking ahead, next opponent, Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota really is a bit of a surprise. They, um, they're they're <clears throat> well, they're not a terrible team, but they're also not like this epic team. <clears throat> um, I need to get a report on them, so let me go ahead and do that. Um, but in real life, they're not like this epic team, but Darwin Quinton, um, Quintero is, you know, he is a very good finisher. Um, he's incredibly fast at 16. His pace is, is, that's going to be a concern. 
because I don't have a super fast back line, so I might have to think about what I do back line wise. I don't like making changes just be, you know for stuff like that, but <clears throat> it's something I have to consider. And he, you know, MLS level, he's a good finisher. Um, the good news is he's not like this overpowering header, right? He's he's got an eleven in heading, which isn't terrible, but he doesn't. He, his jumping is not obviously his jumping reach is a four, and his strength is an eight. So what that means is when he's in the game, I'm going to be able to force those wingers wide to get them away from, you know, away from the run of play. And so uh, that's, you know, I'll be able to, that's that's my normal, the way I normally play. So I'll be able to leave that as is. Um, <clears throat> looking at assists, um, Molino obviously is their assist leader. Um, he has an 80% pass percentage. So I might think about closing him down. I probably won't because normally I only do that for guys in the middle, which, I mean, really, Cronin's 88% is pretty good. But that's probably, you know, with only two assists, his percentage is probably only that high because he, he plays a, a simple, a basic game. Um, so this is kind of my thought process when I examine teams I'm about to play, especially when I get into playoffs. I really I really probably spend more time than I should examining teams for a playoff tie. Um, but that's my next opponent, and I'll probably play both legs and then come back and do the same thing, where we look at how those games went and maybe some of the adjustments that I made. So this is Uncle Sam FM signing off, and I will see you next time.